Hello everyone. Um, I'm in my Arthur cosplay again, as you all can see, because I'm going to game in it. Because, uh, you know, I just want to. <laughs> you know, you all know. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. We're going to do that. Uh, so, let's get this going. Also, I got a new charger for my PS5 now. It's like a 10 foot one. So it'll be better. Here's ours. I've been playing more online, actually, as well. Red Dead Online, because I've never really tried it. Um, so I've been trying it out. That's pretty fun. And I know Rockstar doesn't really do anything on it, but like, there's not really much new to it. But I like it so far. Okay. Sadie Adler, that's what we're doing, right? Yeah. That's what we're doing. Oh yeah, last time we finally got the scene with the nun. I tried I tried replaying the scene though, and I couldn't get it again. It showed the reverend. Which was super weird. But yeah. You know what? I kinda want that horse. You'll be alright. Yeah, come, come on, on now. now. Come here. Yeah. Kinda want it. Yeah. Here we go. Here you come. Okay. Easy, easy. 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 Whoa, whoa now. Just stay calm now. I did it. Oh, that's it. Nice. We're good. <laughs> There's his house, south of Rose. Papa and his son. Nothing fancy. The word is, he's gathering quite a little nest for himself. Yeah? Well, okay. Thanks again, mister. Good luck, huh? Yeah, move. Only a matter of time before more come. Yep. I want to get my honor all the way back up. Oh, 
forgot about that one, man. forgot about that one. I know it's just going to come apart again.
Arthur, Arthur it's you. Come in. Where's what's his name? Jean-Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Uh. <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me. And it probably shall. Yes. Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you. Maybe not. But please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. Listen, Mr. Arthur. I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much. But For what? Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How do you mean? Saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Is that my business? Oh, no. no. <laughs> of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? Oh. <laughs> I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Rue de Zachary. Thank you, Arthur. Go to Sean Bart's house. Big drama of things. Come on, let's go see your boss. This is gonna hurt, but it's for the best. So was he spreading the rumors about the gang and stuff? Something like that? I guess I carry him. I guess that's what it is. Guess we have to carry the man. Yeah, that's gotta be. Yeah. 
bring him around the back. Follow the mayor. No, Jean-Marc, Jean-Marc, I've missed you. I have missed you. What silly, silly man we have been. Yeah, he had a fall. He might be a little woozy. Oh, the poor boy. Jean-Marc, can you hear me? Uh, where am I? Lemieux? What have you done? Oh, you had an accident, Jean-Marc. Thank the Lord our friend was there to find you. Really? I don't remember so well. No. Here. My brother, my brother, Jean-Marc, you've oh, been so... Uh, I promised to change. I don't. Ah, uh, well, this silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course, we... We will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. You've not changed at all. I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You, you shame me. <laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh, how I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. But I must actually do things. I see now. You're, you're a lost to reason. Yeah. And I see now that you're a horrible little wretch and a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Now, sir, I am afraid that you must kill him. I will pay you handsomely. And Jama, I will miss you. I really shall. Kill him. It must be so. Please. You're not really going to kill me, are you? Thought of mine. But all I did was love too much. Love. My duty. Yeah, but you're running your I'll mouth. Leave you out of it. Me, buddy. And him. He'll betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lemur's a foul rat. But I'm a man of my word. Let me live and I'll... I'll destroy him. And I'll make sure you're left well alone. Come on, please. Please, come on. You want to shoot a sad little man, would you? You might be a brute. I'm not a paid killer. Get out of here. Don't mention me, boy. <laughs> There we go, Western Train Stranger, what's that? Complete 10 Stranger Mission Strains, awesome. Man. And we got our full honor back too. I'm so happy. That's perfect, man. Doing great. We are doing great.
have returned. Got me another monster like yesterday. You know what I mean? Crap, I gotta do this again. Okay, girl. 
Arthur, come on come in. On. So, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. So it's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you in the war. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Well, I ain't company. Come look at these. Remember catching that? I do. I know you ain't forgot about him. Oh, I still see him in my dreams. Yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's that? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size of that boar. Holy hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. Damn, I thought I got him. Pursue. I'll grab the mouse. Oh shit, man. Kill the boy. Okay. I shot him. Search 
the air cut off it. I knew you'd get away. Come on. Come on. Where are you? All the four tracks. I got you. I got the horse. Come on. Oh, okay. I'm afraid I'll have sight of him. Don't worry. Tracks go this way. Come on. You see that thing? It's as big as a buffalo. And fast, too. Yeah, but we'll get him. He came through here, all right. Big shit. He's been across here twice. What'll we do? Well, he's been up this hill to the right, and down this one in front of us. But I can't tell which tracks is fresher. Let's split up. You go up, and I'll go onwards. Okay. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah! Come on, you! Whoa there. Yeah. Slow it up. Thrown and the bastard hog got me. <laughs> Take a pill for me, would you? He's a good horse. He may be stubborn, <laughs> but he's strong. Good 
boy. Wait. Let's go. That's it, boy. Interstellar. Okay, let's take a look at it. Giant board. What can we buy? I wonder. Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it. Oh, neat. Yep. Yeah. That's 
still can't believe I found this jacket. Yeah. Uh, the Google. Yeah, because like it's perfect. It's perfect for the Arthur.
that on the map? Huh. The grass. Mrs. Adler, looking like a lady won't help us if you're not. How am I supposed to relax today? Mrs. Adler, looking like a lady won't help us if you're not going to act like one. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? Why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so? Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah. And not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his next broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves in this. In this. Oh yeah, Arthur hates playing dress up. Okay. Come on. Oh, she's actually wearing a dress for once. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered. Our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if the men seeing that son of a bitch sway. Cole hung me up, nearly butchered me, and I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy Kieran. We've all lost something because of Cole. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. 
Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? You two quit it. We all got a job to do. And we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Assholes. Sure. The Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta find them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> That horse officer. Wandered. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. He's cutting in there. Let's go, quiet. What's it was like? A bunch of cops. How many? Enough. Enough. So what do you think? The hole's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we face worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there. On one of these verandas. Through a building, maybe. And get him. And do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. Oh, Arthur. Here's a ladder. Why not go? Where's this shooter, man? Find my way to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Well, you may. I 
I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges. This is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Here we go. Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. Now you know how it feels to watch something you love die. You ruined my life! Die! 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 That's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? What's, is this the, what is this? My dear Arthur, you never showed up, and now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I, nonetheless, must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago, 
and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again, and I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself, but you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young, not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years, and I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Wow, man. I didn't know we could see her again. I, I, I thought there was like a mission where, yeah, it never gave me that option. Goodbye, dear friend. Well, there we go, I guess. Let's click save game. Okay. Save game. Yep, save game. What's our percentage now? 60 something. Bye.